Yo! I'm gonna show you guys how to do this VHS effect. It requires Twitch and Sapphire, but if you guys don't have those plugins, I have an alternative for you guys. I just dropped a taste test for my VHS overlays pack. It's completely free, but if you guys do want to support me, the full pack is on my pay hit. Use code VHS25 for 25% off. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. First, we're gonna add a hue sat bray. We're gonna change the saturation to 0 0.5. Then we're gonna add S underscore digital damage. We're gonna change the intensity to 0 0.1 ish. And then we're gonna close this out real quick. And we're gonna add the next effect called S underscore JPEG damage. First, we're gonna add the quality to 1. We're gonna change the res factor to 3. And we're gonna go ahead and close this off. Next, we're going to add Twitch. We're going to change the amount to 0 0.50. And then we're going to change the speed to 28. We're going to click on Enable. Click on the slide. And then we're going to duplicate it. And then after that, we're going to add S underscore Flicker. We're going to change the amplitude to 0 0.12. We're going to change the color amp to... 0 0.770 and then close this off and then we're gonna add s underscore film damage all right just copy down all these settings that i have on the screen next we're gonna add signal we're gonna change the signal strength to 31 the signal amplification to 2 the luminoise to 7 Chroma noise to zero, hue noise to zero, and chroma loss to zero. And we're gonna click on this little arrow next to Luma and turn off this checkbox. We're gonna go ahead and close this down and add S underscore warp waves. We're gonna change the amplitude to 0 0.004, frequency to 155, the angle to 90. We're gonna go ahead and add another signal and change the hue noise to zero, chroma loss zero, sharpen to zero, and device to connection to, and we're gonna turn off Luma. Boom, we're done. This effect is kind of heavy on computers, so I'd recommend putting it on quarter, rendering out the clip, and sending it to Handbrake to render it out. 